for our workout today, one round is going to be starting off with 60 penguin tap jumps. So you're going to tap your legs when you're in the air. So here, if they want to uh, mimic a double under, so a jump rope with two rotations, they'll tap twice for every jump in the air. So they'll do 60 penguin taps into two wall walks. Your wall walks will start on the ground with their chest on the ground and it will end with their chest on the ground. With this movement, you want to stay in a hollow position the whole time, not an arch. So, you'll start here, chest on the ground. I'm going to push up onto my knees. Then I'm going to put my hips into the air. Now put my foot high on the wall. I'm in this hollow position. If this is as far as they can go, that's great. If not, they can walk their hands all the way to the wall, walk them back out. Step down, back to their knees, back to the floor. So as I mentioned, the most important part about this movement is staying in this hollow position here. So what you're trying to avoid is this here. So tell them to look back at the wall to hold that position. After your two wall walks, it moves into 15 burpees. So, down to the ground, up, whack, 15 burpees. That equals one round, and you're going to do as many rounds as you need to for that age group for today. Oh, or instead of wall walks, a scaling version for the wall walk, other than just putting your legs on the wall, is 10 pike shoulder taps. So, in our handstand pike position, I'm going to touch the opposite shoulder, and it will be 10 total. Okay, so that's our modification today for wall locks if they're not comfortable going upside down.